I made this. What's up guys, this is Aaron Parker for the Window Cleaning Magazine and today we're talking about how to price out jobs. What's up guys, so we're gonna talk about how to price out jobs. I know that is a huge concern with a lot of new window cleaners and wondering how do you walk the premises, give an accurate and competitive quote and inevitably get the business. Okay, so there are a couple criteria that I personally look at uh, when I'm pricing out window cleaning jobs and the first criteria that I am heavily looking at first, this is number one priority, is accessibility. Accessibility is number one. So say you get a call from client A or prospect A and they say, hey, I have two windows that I want cleaned and you're like, well, this is gonna be easy. And they say, but, they're 80 feet up and there's a ledge between these windows and the ground and you can't clean them from the interior. Your pole cannot reach. It's gonna be very difficult to get to these windows. Now you're gonna to have to decide even if you want the business uh, what type of lift you're gonna to have to get to get to these two special windows that they want cleaned. But these two windows inevitably are not gonna be the $4, $6 windows that we all talk about when we're talking about counting the windows in the home and how much per pane it's worth, okay? When I get to a shop, say it's a coffee shop, and they want their windows clean. Now, a lot of coffee shops have these big, beautiful, broad windows. I mean, a fanner's paradise, bro. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes, these places build these little makeshift walls that go right up to the window, and there's a crease between the window that's this big. Okay, and you're gonna have to stick your squeegee in between there and then go to the other side and pull that stuff in. They've made a wall that shouldn't be there technically. Um, this is an accessibility issue for my squeegee. So that's obviously gonna cost more than just having big, broad windows. Are you getting what I'm saying here? Accessibility for you and your humans and accessibility for your gear. Because if I'm having to work around all this other stuff, these are minutes added to the day. These are minutes added to the stop. This is work. This is a potential chance for you or your guys to have a drip or a mess up in the process and to get a call back that you have to go service because of some makeshift wall that you probably would say shouldn't be there anyway. So accessibility for my humans, myself, and my gear is my number one priority when in pricing out jobs. The second criteria when we're talking about pricing out windows and window cleaning jobs is how long has it been since they've been cleaned? You know, I mean, I know every window cleaner that I know has had someone call them and you ask that question and they say, well, we've been in this house. Hey, honey, how long have we been in this house? 22, 20, 22 years. I think we cleaned them. Yeah, we cleaned them 22 years ago. Okay, so now this is not going to be a maintenance type clean. This might even be worse than post-construction cleanup. Okay, because it's got 22 years of grime. The second criteria is how bad are they? How long has it been since they've been cleaned? And I ask this question every time I talk to a prospect. Have you ever had your windows professionally cleaned before? That's a huge question when it comes to how bad they are because there's an expectation of what they did look like when another company, even if they didn't like that company's work, they were still cleaner than what they could have done with Windex or their normal household cleaner. So they have a, a spectrum of how good it can be, okay, versus how good it is right now, which also puts a little nugget in their brain that they're going to expect to pay hundreds of dollars to have these windows cleaned before you make the trip out there you quote them 400 on the job and they're like well i have a guy who can do it uh told me he'd do it for 75 and it's like ah uh, they told me that they never had them professionally cleaned before so they didn't expect the actual price tag that was going to come with having them professionally cleaned Okay, how bad they are, and have you ever had those professionally cleaned before is two huge questions. That's my second criteria. If a prospect tells you they've never had their windows professionally cleaned before, 
there's a couple different things that are gonna happen and you're gonna have to weigh out whether or not it's worth your time to even drive out there. Because if you drop $420 on the estimate and they're sitting here having their, their mom who likes to stay at the house every now and then clean the windows with some Windex and paper towels, these aren't people normally who have their windows cleaned. That's going to be a, an expectation that's going to be, be blown for them. They're not going to be ready for it. So ask those two questions to qualify the prospect to make sure it's something that you want to even invest your gas money, your time. How many times in the young years you're going to go to some prospects who've never had their windows cleaned before and you're going to tell them the price and they're going to be like, oh, I can't believe it costs that much. And you're like, why did I waste an hour of my day here? Have you ever had your windows professionally cleaned before and how bad are they and how long has it been? And if they can give you those answers and say, yes, we have, it's been six months, ah, you know that they expect the price that's gonna come, whether it's higher or lower, doesn't really matter. They understand that this is a luxury business and that you're going to be able to make some money. The third is literally number of windows. Like, that's tertiary to me. I don't really care the number of windows and I don't need to get that information over the phone. I can see that when I get there. My main qualifiers are have you ever had your windows professionally clean which means they have an expectation for how much it's going to cost. These are like pre-qualifiers to even give in the estimate. But accessibility, how long it's been, and third finally is how many windows. That's last. And that's it guys. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below and watch me for more tips on the Window Cleaning Magazine.